you probably know LLM and a bunch of different vendors, OpenAI, Hacking Face, Olama, and more. And what those LLMs do is predict the most likely next token. What happens if you try to chat with one of these LLM? You are going to quickly realize that you are going to end up having like a regular prompting experience where you kind of got to give feedback to make it sure that through the interaction between you and this LLM, you get the result that you need. Let's ask ChatGPT to help us to create a blog post text about what you see and where to go in Tenerife. So in here you can see that a regular ChatGPT is going to write down what should be this text. But it turns out to be too long. I don't want to use this long version. I want to make sure that it is smaller, something that I maybe use on Instagram or whatever it might be. So why it could be better if you use agents? Let's assume you are team leader you are leading a team of three persons which has one task. Prepare a nice looking blog post that can be published on social media, including SEO keywords and following the best practices on the given topic. In order to accomplish this task, you need to delegate specific subtasks to each of your team member. Let it be planner, writer and editor. Here. Planner is responsible to plan a blog post about the topic, collect information and latest trends. As planner gets this task done, he delivers his outcomes to writer. Writer is responsible for to write insightful and factually accurate opinion piece about a topic. As writer gets his task done, he delivers his outcomes to editor. Editor is responsible for proofread the given text and prepare a final version of blog post ready for publication. Look at this as a simple system. For planner I'm giving the topic which I want to get a blog post about. And the output is a blog post article ready for publication. Welcome to the code editor where we will write entire code. The first thing to do is to load OpenAI key from .env file. You can load the API key as you want, it doesn't make difference for this project. Also, we setting up LLM for our multi-agent mechanism. For this project, we will use GPT 3.5 Turbo. Next, we need to import special functionality from Crew AI. Agent task and crew. I will show how to use all of them in the next couple of minutes. Here we start with the first step, create agents python objects. We will set up the following agents, planner, writer and editor. Then when we have all agents prepared, we will assign corresponding task for each agent, plan to planner write to writer and edit to editor. Since we have agents and task objects, we will combine everything into a single mechanism and then our plan is to run our multi-agent system locally with our input. So overall we have four steps to do. The first one, create agent objects. The second one, create task for agents. Third one, connect everything together and run everything. Let's start with our first step, create agent objects. So the first thing we must to do for agents is to set the role. For example, planner agent role is content planner. For the agent writer, role will be content writer. And for editor agent, role let it be editor. Remember, the role you define impact the style and manner agent communicating in your multiple agent system with each other. So we have content planner, content writer and editor. Next, 
What is the goal of this agent? Plan engaging and factually accurate content on given topic. It is the topic that we provide in the input for the agent. For the content writer, what should be the goal for that? Let it be like, write insightful and factually accurate opinion piece about the topic. And for the editor, the goal will be edit a given blog post to align with the writing style of the organization. Now, goals are defined for all the agent objects, for planner, for writer, and for editor. Another important parameter we need to define in our agent object is backstore. The documentation says that backstory provides context and personality to the agent enriching interactions. And for the planner, we can write backstory as you are working on planning a blog post article about a topic. You collect information that helps the audience learn something and make informed decisions. Your work is the basis for the content writer and article on this topic. Please pay attention that we are referencing to content writer agent. That planner agent will provide its own output for further implementation. I hope that's clear. So, now let's write a brief backstory for writer. You are working on writing a new opinion piece about a topic. You base your writing on the work of the content planner who provides an outline and relevant context about the topic. You follow the main objectives and directions of the outline as provided by the content planner. You ask knowledge in your opinion piece when your statements and opinions as opposite to objective statements. For now, we have backstories for planner and for writer. Let's do the same for editor. And the backstory for editor will be You are an editor who receives a blog post from the context writer. Your goal is to review the blog post to ensure that it follows journalistic best practices, provides balanced viewpoints when providing opinions or assertions, and also avoids major controversial topics or opinions when possible. So, all the agent's objects are almost done. Planner, writer and editor has its role, goal and backstory. The last thing to do on these agents are to set few more parameters. Allow delegate and verbose. These parameters are optional, but allows delegates important one. It controls task delegation to our agents. Planner is not going to delegate its task to any our agents, so we set false for that. Also, we want to see all the log outputs while running the agent, so setting up verbose to true. Let's do the same for our agents, writer and editor. All agents are not going to delegate their task to our agents, so we set a low delegation to false and set verbose to true. With that, we completed the step number one and now we are ready to jump to step number two, where we will create an assigned task for our agents. Let's get started. First, let's define a parameter where we will write a quick descriptions, in our words instructions, each of the task. It will be description parameter responsible for that. The first task will be plan. This task will be assigned to the content planner agent. And the plan is, the first one, prioritize the latest trends, key players and noteworthy news on the topic. Second, 
Identify the target audience considering their interest and pain points. Third one, develop a detailed content outline including an instruction, key points, and a call to actions. And the last one, include CO, keywords, and relevant data sources. For task write, which will be assigned to the agent writer, we can write a description like and the keyword number one here, use the content plan to craft a compelling blog post on topic. Next one, incorporate CEO keywords naturally. Third one, sections and subtitles are properly named in an engaging manner. Fourth one, ensure the post is structured with an engaging instructions, insightful body and summarizing conclusions. And the fifth one, proofread for grammatical errors and alignments with the brand voice. And lastly, give the description for edit task, which will be assigned to editor agent afterwards. So description, let it be like, proofread the given blog post for grammatical errors and alignments with the brand voice. We have almost everything for now. Now, we also need to define how the expected output should deliver it by doing each task. Let's start from task plan. For task plan, expected output can be look like a comprehensive content plan document with an outline, audience analysis, SEO keywords, and resources. For task write, we can do similarly, let's define an expected output like that. A well-written blog post in markdown format, ready for publication, each section should have two or three paragraphs. That's it. Don't forget to add commas after brackets. Looks good now. And for the last task, edit. The goal for task edit can be look like a well-written blog post in markdown format, ready for publication, each section should have two or three paragraphs. It is exactly the same as we had for writer. Let's keep the expected output the same as for plan task because the structure of outcome from both these should be the same. I think we have almost all mandatory parts to create our multi-agent system. Only one parameter for all the tasks left. It is agent. We need to assign each task to the corresponding agent. It is very simple. Let's start from task plan. Just write agent equal planner because planner agent will do task plan. Simple. Let's do the same with task write. Which agent will write a text? Yes, it will be writer. Very simple. And the same with task edit. The additions that we expecting to get will be delivered by agent editor. That it about task. So all in all, we have three agents and three tasks. Each agent has its own task to do and now we are ready to combine everything into one logical unit. This is the step number three. And to connect everything together, we define this variable crew. So what we are going to set up right here, it is like uh, the past the task to the performed by those agents and the task will be performed sequentially. They are dependent on each other. So the order of the task in the list matters. So let's connect everything together with crew variable right now. So here, let's use crew class from crew AI and give a list of agents in correct order. Planner, writer, and editor. And task for them accordingly will be plan, writer and edit. Let's fix that not plan but planner. 
Perfect. So again, for agent planner we assigned plan task. For agent writer we assign write task. For agent editor we assign edit task. We want to see all the logs, so set verbose to true. And that's it. Now we are ready to run our multi-agent system. And let's do it right now. First of all, let's define a topic we can to generate blog post about. For example, let it be holiday in Tenerife with kids, what to see and where to go. And the results of that will be given by running our multi-agent system under variable crew. We use kickoff method for that. Here only one argument we need to pass. It is the input we defined earlier. It is the topic we wrote just a second ago. Remember we had references to topic in all of the agent's instructions. That is the input we are giving to. And finally let's run our first multi-agent system right now. This is the python file we want to run. And here you go, it's working, content planner agent is the first one which delivering output, the content writer, content planner generates content and giving it to content writer, here is the final answer from content planner. Here are SEO keywords for blog post, resources, and final answer from content writer and editor. And finally, here is the final answer from the editor, clear nice blog post text in markdown format.